Hello everybody, this is Mr. Effect Films here, back once again after a pretty long hiatus, I know. Um, and I'm just, you know, sitting here, I was playing, and I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and little, record a little something, because, you know, why not? So, I am here, as you can see, and I am playing Warframe. I know I have a, a few uh, videos about Warframe here on the channel already. Uh, I've never really committed to that sort of thing. Um, might be something I could uh, look into in the future, but I don't know. There's already a lot of uh, great Warframe content creators here anyway. I mean, there's Brozeem, Iflin, uh, BBK Dragoon is one of my favorites, you know, and they're all really great. So, you know, like I said, there's already a lot of good Warframe content creators here on YouTube anyways, but hey, maybe, maybe I could look into that. But anyways, um... Like I said, just felt like recording a little something, so I thought I would just show off the status of where I'm at here in the game, what I'm currently doing, and what my uh, plans going forward are. So, as you can see, uh, I'm here in my orbiter, and uh, I have to say, I really love what DE did uh, with the update. Uh, the ship and everything looks way nicer, everything looks a bit bigger, there's a bit more space. Like, uh, if we go down here... There just seems it just seems a bit bigger. Like I said, there's more space. I feel like I could, you know, move around here a bit if I needed to, and all that. Uh, you know, all of this is definitely a bit bigger. So, yeah. Um, and uh, I wish I could just get rid of the chat, like, like just move that out of the way or something. But eh, I don't know. Maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know. But uh, and you can see my little. Uh, little uh, robo companion over there. I got him over on uh, uh, Fortuna, which is the uh, open world on Venus. Uh, and as you can see, I am rocking a new Warframe. This is my Chroma Prime. Uh, and when I say new, I mean one of the newer ones that I've built. I've actually had him for quite a, quite a long time. Uh, but he is the first Prime Warframe I got. Currently I have three uh, I have another one going in the foundry right now. Uh, it should be ready probably by, if not tonight, it'll be ready by tomorrow. Um, I've already had it going for a couple days. Um, but I've got Chroma Prime. I've got uh, Wukong. I couldn't remember. I blacked out. I couldn't remember his name. I've got Chroma Prime. I've got Wukong Prime, and then I also have Rhino Prime. And then I've got uh, another one here. Let's just go ahead and go to the foundry. Um, Saren Prime, and she will be ready here in two hours, so that'll be fun. Um, you can also see here I've got all the pieces of Zephyr, the Zephyr Warframe, here and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to claim all of these. And there's the Neurotics, and the Chassis. And finally, the systems. So, um, we're also going to come up here to the Warframe section. Um, I've got two of the requirements for Ash. I've got my Orchid Cell, and I have his Neuroptics. I'm just missing the chassis and the, uh, the systems. I also have the Ash Prime Neuroptics. I still need the, war the, the blueprint itself, and then the other two pieces, so not quite ready for that one yet. Banshee Prime. I have everything I need for her except the systems. Um, I also have an um, extra uh, Neuroptic Blueprint. So, I don't know. I'll probably sell this for some Platinum or something later. Equinox. So, for Equinox, I have his chassis ready, and I have the Orchid Cell. I'm just missing the Neuroptics and the systems, and then I have an extra chassis here. Uh... And then my normal chroma. Honestly, honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to do anything with my normal chroma here. Just because I already have Chroma Prime, and he's pretty awesome, and he's a better version of this. So, at this point, I don't think I'm ever going to finish him. Same with Equinox. I mean, like I said, I'm already halfway done with Equinox Prime. Why would I then bother with the regular Equinox, especially considering how much of a pain in the ass it is to farm for this guy, since you basically have to make two Warframes and then merge them together. 
Whereas with Prime, you just you get the four things you need, two of which I already have, and there you go. You have Equinox. So, yeah. Uh, Gara. I have all the pieces I need for Gara. Uh, her Neuroptics is already set, and then I have my Organ Cell. I just need more resources for the chassis, and then more for the systems. Once I've got all that, I'll be ready to build Gara, and that'll be cool because I've heard I've heard great things about Gara. Um, I've got the Haro blueprint. I already have the Kuva I need, and then I just need to get some more salvage, and I can start building the chassis. And then I just need to find the Neuroptics and the systems. Hydroid Prime. I think he's vaulted right now because I cannot find a relic that has the systems in it, and that's the last thing I need. So, I need to finish the Sands of Inaros quest, and I'm sure once I do, I'll have the pieces I need for that, so... Mesa Prime. This is one I have been trying to hunt for for a while, and I've got everything I need except the Neuroptics. I just need the Neuroptics. Uh, Ivara Prime. All I have is just the Neuroptics, which... I don't know. If I decide I want to make her, hey, I'll do it, but... Normal Mirage, I just have the Neuroptics and the Argon Crystal. Uh, Mirage Prime... Uh, I don't have the ma main blueprint. I already have the Neuroptics, it's already built, that's why that blueprint isn't in here. Uh, but that's already built, the chassis is already built, and then I just need another Argon Crystal and some more salvage and I can make the systems. Really, I just need the main blueprint itself, and I'll be ready to go. Uh, same with Nyx. All I'm missing with her is the chassis, and that will be ready to go. Uh, I also have the Nova Prime Systems, which is cool, because I've heard Nova is an excellent frame. Although, apparently... Um, apparently, uh, I think it's the boss on Europa... Uh, that boss apparently drops the Nova blueprint pieces, so I might can just do that and just focus on Prime another time. I mean, who knows? Oberon Prime, I'm just missing the systems, and he'll be ready to go. Uh, Revenant, so I'm doing the quest for the Revenant, uh, Mask of the Revenant, I believe it's called. Um, I already have the chassis built. Uh, I just need to get the Neuroptics, and then I need to get more resources to make the systems. Uh, Rhino Prime. I'm going to just sell this, because I already have Rhino Prime. I don't need to make a second one. Uh, and then, of course, you can see here, Serum Prime is almost done. She just needs another two hours. Valkyr Prime. I just need the system, and she will be ready to go. Uh, Zephyr Prime. I just need... Uh, systems for her, and she will be ready to go. Uh, Trinity Prime, I haven't really focused on farming her yet, but once I do, I mean, I'll already have a piece down, so that's cool. And then we have Zephyr. Uh, Zephyr is all set and ready to go, as you can see here, so we're gonna go ahead and build her. Oh, wait, I can't. I need more credits. Uh, let's see, it takes 25,000 credits to build Zephyr, so I'll probably just run a defense mission or something, and uh, I'll have enough credits for that. By the way, the reason I'm so low on credits right now is because uh, last night, before uh, I ended that play session, I spent, a bit of, I spent a bit of time upgrading some mods I have, so if we go over here to my arsenal, uh, get that time to load. So I think I had, was it this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had upgraded this one a couple of notches, my Augur Accord, which uh, is good because that gives me 120% shield recharge, so that's pretty nice. Um, and then I think I did upgrade continuity by one as well. Uh, and that was all I really did on Prime himself. Here on the Soma, I think it might have been this, or... No, 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 it was this one, Fast Hands. And that's because I do like the Soma. My only real complaint with it, though, 
it takes a really long time to reload. Longer than I'm comfortable with anyway. So I put a couple of, uh, you can see I put a couple of, uh, um, I put a couple of, uh, upgrades worth of, uh, endo and credits into this to upgrade that a little bit. Because because I think the, the, uh, stock version of this, the, um, the unupgraded version of this, it's only 5% reload speed. Um, so I up, so I upgraded it twice and now it's up to 15. And, uh, I'm a bit more comfortable with that. Other than that, this, uh, setup looks pretty good. You know, we got some, uh, Got a decent amount of elemental mods on here. Wildfire does heat. Stormbringer, of course, for electricity. And then... And then here we have Malignant Force, and that does some toxin damage. I would have liked to have had room for a cold one. For uh, one that does cold. Um, but I really like multi-shot. Uh, 125 critical chance is great. Serration is a must-have. And then uh, Vital Sense... 120 critical damage. I mean, you've got to have that. So, so that's my setup with uh, the Soma, and then Magus Prime, uh, and the, I almost said Prime, uh, the Magus. I actually just built this uh, yesterday as well, um, and that's why there's only two mods on here because my capacity is only 10 because I just got this thing. But I went ahead and threw uh, Pistol Gambit for 120 critical chance. And actually, since I'm here, Hornet Strike, here we go. I was trying to find something else because yeah, it'll probably have to win this then. Yeah. So unfortunately, my critical chance just tanked. Uh, but I did boost my overall power with this. I think I, I, I read Pistol Gambit wrong. I think when I put that on there, I assumed that that was 100% just regular damage, when no, that's what Hornet Strike is. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, since... Well, it's flawed, but... Hold on. Let me take that out. And then put this... here. Oh. I put that there. And then, that still leaves me room with five. So I won't be able to put this on. Can't put that on either. Um... I want to put some sort of elemental mod on here. Dang, I might not be able to. Looks like they're all like... Um... Yeah, all my elemental mods are, like, six and higher. Well, that's okay. For the time being, we'll ignore uh, the elemental thing, and we'll put... I think... Is that a five or is that an eight? I think that's an eight. That's a five, though. So we'll just have regular damage and critical chance for now. I, I usually like to have elemental mods on there too, but eh, just can't do it in this case. And then this thing, I actually just got this weapon like last week, and I just haven't used it since, uh, before yesterday. Um, obviously, for the fact that it's only rank 2. I did manage to put one elemental mod on here, uh, Volcanic Edge, which gives me 60% uh, heat. And then I've got Open Shatter and Pressure Point. So, nothing too crazy, but, I mean, I did what I could. Um, as for my focus, I've currently got uh, Zenerik going. And then this, all I have on here is just the Intruder thing. That's about it. 
And then as for my other frames, you can see here I've got Ember, uh, Excalibur, I've had him since the beginning, he was my starter. I've got Excalibur Umbra, he's become a quick favorite of mine, I really enjoyed the sacrifice mission. Uh, and if you want to see my uh, playthrough of that, you can find that here on my channel. We've also got Frost, maxed out, Hydroid is at 7. I have Mag, haven't used her yet. Loki is at 8. Limbo Prime, oh right, I forgot I had Limbo Prime. Uh, but he's at 3. Oberon is maxed out, Rhino's maxed out, Rhino Prime is maxed out, Wukong Prime is maxed out, Volts at 16, and then Valkyr is at 9. And those are all the frames I currently have unlocked. Um, I would like to get Ash and some others, but that's currently what we got going on for the time being. So, like I said, just thought I would, uh, take a minute and, uh, oh, I almost forgot. We gotta, gotta run back here and show my operator. So this is what he looks like. I usually like to have them match uh, whatever Warframe I'm using. No need to go into equipment, I'm just using a basic uh, little... Uh, what's it called? Amp. Yeah. So, no need to go into that. Appearance, you can see what he looks like. I think he looks cool, but, you know, whatever. And then I've currently got 9,000 into Xenoric, and that's because I did have a crap ton more, but I did some upgrading. Um, you can see here, Energy Pulse. Void Siphon. Yeah. Started leveling this up quite a bit. Inner Might. That was the last upgrade I got. So, like I said, I thought this was just a cool thing to make, a cool little video to make. I just wanted to show off uh, the progress I've made here in Warframe, and I am still loving it very, very much. So, um,. I guess that's really all there is. I just wanted to show off my progress in Warframe, and I have done that. So, thank you all very much for joining me again here on the channel, uh, and specifically for Warframe. This is Mr. Effect Film signing off, and I will see you all later. Peace and out.